Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. What's up, I'm Zanti Maestros. I'm back with another video. Remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe. To the sensitive haters in my comments, please. Oh, and kiss my ass. Hi, I'm Zanti Maestros. Welcome back to my channel. If you're a new subscriber, you're welcome. If you're a returning subscriber, welcome back home. And if you're a passerby, I hope you like what you see now for you to stick around. If you have not yet, please click on that notification bell so that you can be notified every time I post a new video. And be a darling and follow me on Instagram and Twitter. Okay, I'm back with the same outfit. I want to talk quickly about pastor's wives. Pastors Wives is a new show on it's a new show on um Honey TV, which is a new channel on DSTV. It's channel 173 if you don't um if you don't know yet. If you do have um DSTV, go ahead and watch it. Um Pastors Wives basically is a reality TV show that follows uh, the wives of pastors around and um, to kind of see how they're living. And I would I, I'm guessing one would guess and assume that they follow them around to try and see how they their what their impact is on the ministry how they add value to the ministry because you know they say behind every successful man is a, is, is a powerful or a strong woman so I, I i think i'm assuming that the whole purpose of this show is to see the women that drive these pastors that are so popular um there isn't any particular pastor that's extraordinarily popular on there but there is a woman called Eno. Eno looks familiar to me i'll put a photo here if i can if i find it she looks really familiar to me and her husband looks familiar too. Like they both look familiar. I don't know where they have seen them before, but long story short, that's, that's what pastors, pastors wives is. It follows four women around. Two women are from Nigeria and two women are from South Africa. Um, so the whole point behind this video today is this. In episode three, in episode three or four of pastors wives, you know, and this other woman, I forget her name, you know, and one of the other women who are part of the show, they have a party or they have an event because, you know, a reality show must always have an event. And part of the event, as part of this event that they have, there are strippers, number one. And as part of this event that they have, there is a sex toy showing. An exhibition or a, 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 a whatever you call it of sex toys number two I don't even know if I should be saying that will I get demonetized when it's time I don't know but long story short short they are showing adult toys let me call them adult toys they are adult toys and they are strippers one of the wives ends up walking out of this event because she felt that listen this is too much she felt like she can do it. She wouldn't do it. She felt like she 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 is a woman of God and she can do it. You know, the last time when Ayanda was acting holier than thou at at a club, I judged Ayanda. I said Ayanda was doing too much. I said Ayanda could bring it down a notch because, she, it, in my opinion, I felt like she wasn't even a pastor's wife. All that her husband did was sing gospel, and I'm talking about Ayanda Nwani here. But now, seeing that they, these are pastors' wives, the wives of pastors, men of God, hosting events or throwing events that have strippers and that have adult toys on show, I thought to myself, wow, no wonder, guys. No wonder we are seeing all of these men, all of these men of God coming out here and being accused of um, rape. All of these men of God being accused of being immoral and, and, and fornicating and doing this and that. If even their wives are hosting parties with strippers, come on guys. Like in my opinion, I felt like that was in very bad taste. That was in bad taste. You cannot be a pastor's wife on national television, host an event and invite strippers and thin ones at that. Thin strippers.
chupas at that. Just some scrawny ass chupas. You can see that that guy, a lot of them needed some collagen and protein. It was in very bad taste in my opinion. That is not being a good representative of the house of God. I would like to think of myself as someone who is a believer in Christ. I was saved by the Lord Jesus. I fall under Ibu Tolaga Liga Yesu. I am I'm very saved as you see me sitting over here. And I might not be the very best representation or representative of Christ's house, but I'm nobody's pa I'm 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 no pastor's wife. I'm just a, a child of God living day to day trying to do the right thing. If you are a pastor's wife, we understand that pastors and their wives and the first ladies are human beings just like us. But we expect a different kind, a different kind of lifestyle from them. We expect to see them trying harder than we are to live up to what, to what um, Christian values are. In my opinion, to have these women um, invite these strippers to go and perform on their, at their event is in bad taste for the following reasons. Number one, that is glorifying the flesh more than it is glorifying the spirit the holy ghost the things that the lord expects from us that's what you were doing what they were doing at that particular time was glorifying the the flesh and what you are doing then is doing it on public tv on national television glorifying your flesh you know if they if if they had just left it at the showing or or or, or the exhibition of the of, of the adult toys had, had they just left it at that at that and said, "Listen, this one is a this this, this one is a that that, this one you can do this with with your husband." Perfect. I would have said, "Okay, that just means that even pastors and even men of God have have healthy um um, um intimate relationships with their wives." Perfect, because there's nothing wrong with having an, a healthy intimate relationship with the person that you are married to. But you have these married women call these strippers to this event so that these men could get undressed in front of them and gyrate all over them. I was disappointed. I was I thought to myself, okay, so this is what it is. No wonder, no wonder Bo 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 Stephen Bo Stephen B Zondo are being accused of this and that. No wonder Bo Tancredi are being accused of that and that. No wonder Bo, Bo Chris, you know, um, are being accused of this and that. No wonder. No wonder because even the wives are immoral. Even the wives are doing this. Th there's no, where is the morality, guys? Or am I... Like, am I holding these people up to a standard that is just unattainable? Is the standard of morality that I'm upholding them to just not even attainable for, for a normal human being? Because I can, I can get it. I can get with the fact that these people are normal human beings because I am too. But like I said, when you, when you look at your pastor's wife and you look at your pastor, you want to look at someone who can lead you. Someone who's doing better than you spiritually. Someone who can say, but then I can fast for 40 days. I've done it before. Someone who, who, who will make it fashionable to fast for 40 days. To deny your flesh so that you can give glory to God. But now here we've got pastor's wives organizing an event that's got stripping men. That's glorifying the flesh. You are, you are causing your brethren to slip. You are causing your sisters to slip, you know? You are causing your sisters to slip, ladies. You are causing your sisters to slip. And I understand that you guys are just human, just like me. You're a, you're a woman like me, flesh and bones. But when you decided to marry a pastor, when you decided to be the first lady of a church, you took on a responsibility that is denser than mine. The only people I'm responsible to are, are, is my family, my kids. That's it. And, the, and Jesus Christ, the Lord knows I try every day. Christ sees me trying every day. I'm not coming on my channel and, and, and causing my fellow brothers and sisters to sleep. You are causing your fellow brothers and sisters to sleep. How dare you? How dare you? How dare you bring strippers? 
to that event when you were a woman of God. How dare you? That's it. That's all I have to say. How dare you? Maybe some of you might think, how dare I? How dare I hold these women to such a high standard of morality that they won't be able to live up to because they are, they are just human beings like me. But like I said, one of the pastor's wives walked out of that event because she felt that, no, this is not me. She felt that this is not me. This is not how I live. This is not the kind of life I should be living because I left this life when I decided to follow Christ. When I decided to follow Christ, I decided to deny my flesh. And it's worse for them because they have husbands. You know when, you, when, when, when you're deciding to follow Christ and you don't have a husband and you slip every now and then, people could understand. People could be like, oh no, she don't got no man. She doesn't have a husband, so every now and then she might slip. She might go see a stripper here or there because she's, you know? But if, if, if you've got a husband at the house and you are now inviting a stripper so that the other woman who are also married can look at another man and fornicate with their eyes. I don't know what Honey TV is doing with that show over there with Mzansi, with, 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 with Pastor's Wives. I don't know what you guys are doing. I have no clue what you're doing, but I did not like what I saw. I expect better. I, I really do. I expect better. I expect for people who follow Christ or people or for people who say they follow Christ to make it fashionable to follow Christ. Make it fashionable. Make it make it cool to follow God. Don't be hypocrites because that was hypocritical. Because now you're saying that for people to watch the show and for people to want to follow Christ, they must be a stripper. Why not make it fun to follow Christ without all of that other stuff that glorifies glorifies the flesh? Why not make it why not make people see and realize that to deny your flesh is much better because that's where the true power is. When you deny your flesh of the food that causes you to that causes you to be gluttonous, when you deny yourself of the the, the, the carnal pleasures that cause you to slip up and to be sleeping with that one and this one and the other one when you deny yourself of all of those pleasures and you focus on christ that is the ultimate level of being cool because that means you are in control and you have discipline why not do that for the young ladies because when you do that for the young ladies you cause that to happen for the young for the young men why not do that we already have a John Gray. We, we've got the book of John Gray. We, we already have that, babes. And we know that John Gray is cheating on his wife with every woman he can find. I don't know, guys. I don't know. I just... No, I'm lying. I do know. And what I know is that I'm disappointed at that. I am a, I, I'm a Christian. And, and I am a failing Christian 90% of the time. I, I fall and I try again. I fall, try again. What I need to see for me to be a Christian on the right path is young women like me who might be married or not married to men of God, but who who are trying and, and stay on the path. They might fall, but they stay on the path and they make me want to be on the path. And you know, when I first saw this show, Pastor's Rise, I thought to myself, yes. I thought, yep, this is a good show because it's different wives of different pastors from different dominations denominations of the church you know I, I said there were four wives earlier there's actually five wives two from nigeria and three from south africa there's you know there's pume i forget the third one she just had a baby and the the third one whose name i forgot she just had a baby and for her baby shower she asked all of her friends and her family not to buy gifts for her she had a baby shower at a children's home and i was so touched i thought to myself my god with my next pregnancy i'm having my baby shower at a home because that was so selfless she had her baby shower at a children's home and she had all of her friends and family gift buy gifts for the babies at that home I thought to myself, my gosh, that is so selfless. She taught me something there about being selfless and about being giving. And then they do a U10, a quick U10, and they bring strippers on the show. And I thought to myself, backsliding. You are causing us to backslide. <sighs> Anyways, 
it's I, I, you know today's been a, a tv like, like like a day for tv shows i just said that i watch all of these shows today and that's what i have to say about pastor's wives if you have not yet go watch the show tell me what you think if you think you are if you want to see me review more of it tell me I'll, I'll review more of it but yeah that is my take on the show guys um i want to start a new segment on on instagram called mzanti reactions that's where i'll do quick little reactions to um all of these shows as and when I watch them, if I watch it during the week and then I might do, then I'll do a full review at the end of the week. Um, I know, so, so I want to start that. So follow me on Instagram so that you can see that happen. I'm going to start doing that full force once I'm done with this module that I'm doing at school. Okay. Number one. Number two, I know that last year I started a lot of a lot of segments on the channel there's the travel segment and there's the segment on following small businesses those are things that i'm still going to do those are things that i'm still going to give a full hundred percent of my of my time to but because now i'm going to school it's the business i'm trying to run i've got a job and it's all the time for me right now at my job i'm really swamped but i think from around may from around may i can start giving my full attention and my full time to all of these segments so please keep tuned keep watching the 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 the, 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 the my videos keep you know keep checking up on me and please keep sharing these videos i'm at 900 and something subscribers and that is all due to you guys sharing my videos and showing me all of the love that you show me um i appreciate each and every one of you for watching tell me what you guys thought of the of 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 of, of pastor's wives if you haven't watched it yet go watch it and come back here and tell me what you thought thank you so much for watching this video guys you guys will see me in my next video smooches